Alhamdulillah, after I became Muslim, and I started to know that this teaching is so simple, and it's easy to understand, and the creed is so clear cut. The Tawheed is very clear. Qulhu Allahu Ahad. Say there's one God. One God. One God. Finish. Yeah. And all human, you have prophets. Of course, they are good people. They are prophets. They are messengers. Then I found that I've got to learn more about this deen. Yeah. Before I start my mission again, because mm -hmm. I love to share by nature. I love to share whatever I have. I like to share with others. So that's why I get involved in the circle of studying Islam. Is this after you took shahad? The yes. Test? Yes. So tell us, tell us that. What did you have to do? What did you say to become a to Muslim? To be a Muslim is so simple tell at us the that. time. When I uh, met up with the, one of the imam in the mosque, I have I show him, uh, I tell him I have the intention to be a Muslim, and then he said, "No problem, you want to be a Muslim, just make shahada." What is shahada? La ilaha illallah, wa shadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Make sh declaration of faith, they call it, yeah. saying that I declare from today there is none worthy to be worshipped except Allah alone, the one God, the one God. And the Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah. That's the same in Aramaic. Jesus said, Allah, so it's yeah, the same God. The same God. So declare God. that there's no God worthy of worship except Allah. Muhammad is the messenger. Now you're a Muslim. Yes. You Muslim. actually went on to study because it's interesting. The more you studied these other man made faiths, Allah. you saw the contradiction, you saw the ambiguity, didn't make sense. The more you studied, Islam, you saw that it was from the divine, and you went on to become an Islamic scholar. This is amazing. You went to study, and you got learned, no. and now you're teaching and preaching Islam to the world? No. Yes, it's important because knowledge is light. Without knowledge, that's why we are here. We believe that. We like to have more open dialogue with so-called intellectual yeah. who are not yet Muslim. Because we believe that there's no compulsion in religion. No Nobody compulsion in religion. Force. Nobody can force you. Yes. But it is good for so-called intellectual scholars in any field. If you want to talk about Islam. You're inviting them to come. Of course. They can come to the mosque. They're welcome. Someone's thinking out there, they say, you know what, man, these are the people who caused the 9-11. What do you got to say about that? We all know. <laughs> We have no, no comment about it because it's the, what the media say. This has nothing to do, this doesn't have anything to do with Islam. Because as a Muslim, we don't believe that the Muslims should get involved in this kind of act. This because killing innocent people is again the teaching of Islam. Did you just hear that? This is clear? Yes, yeah, it's not a difference clear. of opinion. This is no, no, no killing of no innocent killing. We are here to save women, people. children, none no, of this. No, no. So this is foreign to Islam? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm sure the not yet Muslim, he can relax a little bit. And maybe you can start should. to take more of this in because this is something of programming that the media yeah. tries to vilify Islam and make people a little more scared. We also hesitant. pray, may the people involved in the media be fair to all of us, to be fair to the Muslim. Be Please. fair. If you want to know more about Islam, you must ask the Muslim scholars. Yes. Don't ask just anybody who don't have any sound foundation about Islam. Mm -hmm. It's not right. It's not been fair. We believe this reporter, this media, they are good people. Yes. We only ask them to be fair to us. Everybody, don't we? Of so tell them, you got 30 seconds, give them the message of Islam, give them your closing comments and advice, please. Now, we would like to call all the brothers and sisters who are following this program. Number one, please try to understand the difference between Islam and Muslim. It's important. If you have the right understanding, then you know what is Islam and what is a Muslim. And also the second thing you must understand about religion and tradition. The teaching of religion is so beautiful. But when you involve tradition, of course you get confused. And lastly, also you must differ between the nation yeah, and religion. Yeah, religion belongs to God nation it can come there is no different and Islam belong to all people that means Islam belong to the black to the white to the Chinese to everybody it's not only a religion for the Arabs and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu remind us as Muslim number one I hope our Muslim people also understand the spirit of this religion he said ayyuhan nas inna rabbakum wahid wa inna abakum wahid the Prophet was talking to his Ummah, 
all the Muslims, but the way he addressed them, he remind them by saying, Ayyuhan Nas. Why then he said, O oh Muslim, O oh Hujaz, O oh Fugamish, he said, Ayyuhan Nas. That means the Prophet want his Ummah to understand the message of Islam is for humanity, for all mankind, not only for the Muslim. Indeed, your God is only one, there is Allah. Whether you believe in Him or not, it's, of, it's yours. You choose. But there's only one God. And all of you came from one family, from one father. All of you from Adam, and Adam from soil, or from clay. And then the best among you, the Prophet said, is those who have piety. Not because of your color, your name, but because of your faith in Allah. So we hope, inshallah, this universal message of Islam will benefit this ummah, this human, will benefit all the nation, and we will have more peace and more understanding. By having the right understanding about Islam, read the Quran with an open mind and open heart. If you don't have a copy of the Quran, you can contact us, you can contact the Deen. So, inshallah, we believe that we are ready to share with you and send you a copy of the Quran. So, we will keep on praying for all of you who are still far away from Allah. Only Allah can give hidayah to whom He please. And we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us peace within ourselves, our family, our neighbor, and may Allah give peace to the world. Amen. By saying, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and we become Muslim, and Muslim is a person who believes in peace. That is why only among the Muslim, only and the Muslim community, they always greet people with the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. And this is what I like to end my speech with to, uh, to all the brothers and sisters that I like to wish all of you Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. May the peace of Allah be upon all of you and His blessing and His mercy. And may Allah guide us. And please integrate yourself, integrate yourself with everybody. Don't isolate yourself. Don't stay away from other people. Get close to everybody. Let them know the beauty of Islam. May Allah bless us. May Allah guide us. May Allah forgive us. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir muslimin kulli zam fastaghfiru inna huwa ghafur rahim. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Sheikh, thank you very much. We started with peace. We end with peace. Peace be unto you. Thank you. May Allah bless us all. Inshallah. Thank you. Hayak Allah. Thank you, Sheikh. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Dean Show. Another sherry, another story shared with you of another person coming to peace. Peace through submitting yourself to the owner of peace, the creator of the heavens and earth. So we hope that you got to benefit. And if you'd like to pick up the Quran, dial this number on the screen, 1-800-662-ISLAM. We'll have one shipped to you absolutely free. Allah. And we'll see you next time here on The Dean Show. Until then, peace.